down at Soldier's Rocks and we're about to go floundering. So Sam, do you reckon we'll get in? Uh, well, the conditions look alright. There's a bit of wind, which uh, can often mean it's hard to see the flounder, but hopefully we catch a few. Anyway, let's get out there. Rightio guys, so what we've got here is a greenback flounder. They're great eating, but they can be a little bit difficult to spear, so hopefully Sam gets it. Okay, so this is an Eastern King prawn. They were originally only thought to inhabit waters as far south as Bishino, but in recent years with the Eastern Australian current and global warming, they've been sighted as far south as Hobart, which is where we are now. And these prawns are very good eating, but this particular river wind is known to be quite polluted, so I don't think we'll be taking any prawns today. We'll just try and get some nice shots of Just found another flounder, guys. Lewis is about to try and spear it. It's going to be his first flounder ever. But yeah, let's hope we get it. Unfortunately for Lewis, this flounder was very active and ended up just swimming away out deep, too deep for us to go. We just found another flounder and I've just speared it and I've got to bring it up. You know, go for it, Sam. Lewis. Feeling? Okay, rightio guys, so we're back down here at the rocks after floundering last night. You saw us get two flounder last night. One of them, the smaller one, is 29 centimetres, which is 4 centimetres over the legal size limit, which is 25 centimetres, and the other one's longer than the ruler. So, now Sam over here is going to show us how to clean the flounder. First, what you've got to do is you've got to scale the flounder, just a light scale, just it's easier when you're cooking. So, most of the scales are just on the top. And then the next step is you flick him over. You find his belly, which is normally just here, and you can see where all the bones are, and then you see a patch where there aren't any. And he's got his poo tube, where his poo comes out, you can see just in there, and that's where you, the knife goes in, and then you start cutting straight out. If you have a sharp knife. <laughs> There we go. Now, I'll, now hand it over to me, and I'll rip the guts out. Now I'll hand it over to Will. Rightio. So now that Sam's made that slit in the stomach, we can pull the guts out. And it's a little bit of a yucky job, but it's quite fast. You just stick your finger down in the guts, 
and just pull them all out. Now once you pull the guts out, just give it a quick rinse, preferably in salt water. You sure we don't need to take all the scales off there? So there we have one done, finished, clean flounder. So we've got the flounder here in this bucket and now we're going to cook it. We're just going to cook it in some olive oil on a nice high heat so the flounder goes nice and crispy. And quickly pick her up and put it. Oh, that's looking good. So it looks like the flounder's done now, so we're going to pull her off. What's this down? Turn off already. Out of the way, you idiot. Out of the that way. Was it a chirp? No. All you had to do was blow. Get the flounder. Pretty simple. You just find the backbone in the middle of the flounder. It's just here. You put your knife in. Then you just peel. Oh, it's not really working. Why? You just peel all the meat off like this. It's nice bits of white meat. Mm. Well, that's the end of today's video. If you enjoyed watching this, please like and subscribe. We're going to do videos, well, as often as we can, and yeah, that sound was pretty good.